I'm talking to trolls, like a, like a troll down in, in the sewers. It's the guard himself. He's been spotted. to me? <laughs> the bell end of the week. It's the guard, and he's, uh, he's he spotted a DJ, apparently, that he's quite keen on. And I'm not really sure why, to be honest. Maybe you can spot why uh, the guard is keen on this DJ and this little intro clip to Belly of the Week. We saw the passion he has, the fact that he couldn't... Um, let's, just give a, let's just give a shout out to our DJ tonight. Come here. I'm pretty sure that Botticelli painted a lot of the angels on your outfit, by the way. Thank you very much for great Thank DJing you for me. <laughs> tonight. It was great to meet you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Brilliant DJ. Fucking <laughs> hell, man. I want to rock. DJ. Jesus, man. Oh, this is a regular fucking Grandmaster Melly Melly. Jesus, oh, <laughs> snake oil, man. Eh? Graf- hey, but... Oh, fuck. It's a great DJ. The guard, the guard, the guard's begging for her, for him, for her, sorry, to be standing at the top of him, to push on him so he can go up her like a salmon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dirty bastard. <laughs> 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 Tell us about the torque you get when you're turning those turntables. <laughs> Powerful how many, legs. How, how many RPMs do you think Gad wants to spin her at? <laughs> it's like a voice one as well, doesn't it? The Very BPMs on his heart. BPMs on his heart rate were going up a bit there in that clip anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the DJ. Andrea Bocelli. <laughs> the fucking what is he fucking out of it? That was a slick move though from the Gad there, wasn't it? Like, ah, you might Bocelli like you know, leading the... in there for a quick sniff, for a quick kiss. What was I saying, Andrea? But Telly painted him. He's blind, honey. He wouldn't have been much of a good job. Like. As <laughs> 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 I say, statement for that kiss and that sniff. That's for a memory blank wank, that one, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> he's running off. He's run off to the bogs. That's what he's doing. Aye, aye, aye. Country box. He's getting more for you, Matty. I bet the guards even got like a fucking sponge and a, 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 a bottle of water <laughs> taken in the toilet with him. Pissing down there in the toilet seat. There's one for the guards. Woof! Oh, Myra. Woof! Woof! Look at the guy in the background. He can't believe his look. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, a fucking, that was an offspring of Big John's, by the way. Big Boss. <laughs> Love there, Bosch. Man, that, that takes me back to when I was younger and women like that rejected me. <laughs> oh, well, hey Matty, you wouldn't get rejected at where music meets boxing, country box. Oh, Steve, I could be rejected anywhere. <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, Clayton Q is performing apparently. There's food and drinks, seven pro Oof. fights, Jimmy Adams promotions. They are. I tell you, uh, that, that's very interesting. And you know what I caught in the background between rounds last night at the fights in Tulsa, Steve? Mm. Country music. After Ooh. Joette Gonzalez, I I think it might have been Gonzalez or maybe the uh, uh, the one before that. They play were playing John Denver's "Thank God I'm a Country Boy." Yeah, there was country music all over the place. You yeah, heard uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, Achy Bakey Hart, some Brooks and Dunn. So country music and boxing are finally coming together again, and I'm glad to that I'm here to see it. Yeah. Fucking burn it to the ground, man! Fuck me. <laughs> It's about time, I say. Come on, boys. It's about time. Uh, Tony Bellew, he was enjoying himself last night. Uh, <laughs> That's one way of putting it. <laughs> How is this war still going on, Rage Tony? It's 2023, for fuck's sake. The leaders of these countries need to come together and help each other, throwing young people to their graves while they sit at their fucking desk talking crap. Hashtag stop this war. He was trying oh, to start a war of his own at inside last night, wasn't he? Fucking feel general bell, you hey, Fuck me, man. What's he up <laughs> Jesus Ever Christ. since he went on that fucking show with the SAS, he thinks he has he has it all sorted. Remember he went to uh, fucking he went to sort out ISIS as, as well one time, didn't he himself? I, 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 I nuclear I, I nuclear bomb them or whatever it was, getting dropped to a helicopter thinking he's his fucking John Rambo these days. But what's he doing? He's fucking running the half the fucking length of the arena last night to get involved in a situation which fuck all to do with him. People are like are saying like, ah, but Anthony's go Anthony's back. He's you fucking know. imagining he's fucking stone cold Steve Austin fucking coming out there with a goddamn chair, just getting ready to whack people away. Mate, I'd rather have, you know, have beer, uh. I would rather have St- Stone Cold Steve Austin backing me up than Tony Bellew, I can tell you that. Dude, fuck I'd absolutely <laughs> rather have Stone Cold Steve Austin, especially in a bar fight. We tell you what, like at least Austin have a fucking bottle of beer with him or something like that, you know. 
That that whole card on the zone. Imagine you fucking subscribe just to see that the two fuckers didn't hit each other for the whole fight, and then you got Tony Bellew jumping up yeah. at the end of the fight with fucking Bunts holding him back and Carl Frotch there laughing on his camera. I will tell you what, like right. Anybody who listens to this pod will remember after the Usyk fight and Bellew. Uh, announced his retirement gave him the credit he deserved for his career for a fellow that fucking achieved what he did with his level of talent but since then like, he has been the worst fucking pundit of all time he's making Johnny Nelson look fucking uh, neutral he's fucking out during the week PR campaigning for, for Conor Ben, the same guy who was wanting the death penalty for drug cheats six months ago unless he knows them uh, and then he's up last night fucking cheerleading for AJ. He's pathetic, man. And the zone, like, if they, their credibility is in the toilet as it is, like, but if they want it anymore, they want to fucking get rid of him. Like, he is a joke. Even in eight, Antony. You see how good you'd be with depleted cervical fluid. See, well, well, <laughs> good, you know, right? I don't know if he's like, if he's, you know, how well in is with the zone and that, but see if that's me or you, uh, our work, we're pulled in by HR, by fucking union rep, and getting their arses fucking felt. That's, that's, that's just, you talk about, he's supposed to be a professional. And that's how he's carrying on, getting involved in a situation that was zero to do with him, right? What was going on in the ring was the referee situation, if I could sort out, and the security people. What the fuck's Bell you getting involved for? And then Steve Bunce, the white knight getting involved, come down there on, you know, on the white charger. I thought they two weren't talking. I thought Bell was going to see him. Oh, the next day fucking, right, yeah. I'm not you answering your question, Steve. Yeah, and then C- Carol Froch sitting there, like the whole world just revolving about him like that. This is flat. Yeah, Andy, TV, if baby. anybody hasn't seen it, I've got it here. Let's have, let's have a look, shall we? If anybody hasn't seen it, here we go. A 15 and 0 welterweight in his pub between 2004 2006. And now Lorenzo Reynolds and Tony Bellew exchanging words and is kicking off right behind our position here at ringside. Security calling for cooler heads to prevail. And it's all getting a little bit physical. Steve Bunch playing his role as peacemaker. We've known Tony Bellew since he was a teenage amateur. Steve Bunch divesting of the headphones and just imploring Tony Bellew to keep a cool head. Look, Steve Bunch with the cravat on there. That's a disgrace, isn't it? Bunch's skeleton, wet. Skeleton Salvo trying to sell it as like a big, a big, a big, a big, and Darren Barker appears. I better not get involved here. My hip's a bit tricky here, you know. I <laughs> run the fans here, but Barry Jones in the background. I ain't getting involved there, like mate. Fuck that. Oh Jesus Christ! And, and then Frotch, Frotch with the Frotch with the teeth. Look at what Cedric sniffs at. Bell, you're running the battle like there's a vacant belt on the line. There's a vacant belt on the line. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ. And they see me, they got pulled back, and that is like, well, it's okay, it's okay. You know, people can get to see me. It's okay. I was just backing my boy, and that thing was like, oh my, I was embarrassed. And, and you might be an employee, you might be an ambassador to the sport, and you're, that's, how you're, that's how you're behaving. A 40 year old dad of two. And that's how you're behaving at this stage. That you're oh, honest to God. I thought you might have matured by this point, you know, but can I say? You didn't answer it. Frotch tweeted out after, didn't he, saying, Good job I didn't get involved, otherwise there would have been b- bodies lying everywhere. He's a quality <laughs> troll, Lily <isn't he>, Frotch. <laughs> look at that. You know, look at Matty's Brit mentioning Stone Cold Steve Austin. Frotch had been there like Brock Lesnar, man, throwing bodies at the place. <laughs> that, you know? The pile of human rubble will be all fucking massive. Frotch <sighs> going to be this. And but he is, Frotch was probably, pro, Frotch was probably went into the crowd and emptied 80,000 bodies out there, no fucking problem, you know. Like <laughs> Sting with a fucking baseball bat. <laughs> Left him in the crowd. Oh fuck me! It's been, it's been an eventful week for Tony. Uh, earlier on in the in the week, he said, "Do I believe Connor Ben was taking PDs? Absolutely not." Tony Bellew speaks out in support of Connor amidst talks for Ben versus Eubank Junior. Shout out to Dev Sarney of BT Sport. He says, "I'm a company man, but there are levels to this game, and I've still got so much to learn." Stunning. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wrong guy, isn't he, Tony? It's a bit like Bell you saying last night. He said, I didn't want to get in trouble with him last night. I'm saying, he fucking ran the half the length of the arena to get involved. Go on, Ozzy, in you go. No, no, to, to be, I mean, what what Tony does, he just embarrasses himself, doesn't he, by speaking, his actions, that sort of stuff. Didn't he say he was going to, he, uh, he had to walk away before he planted one of uh, Franklin's corner in the face? I mean, 
I can't listen. This guy's a fucking broadcaster being paid to be there. And next thing he's squaring up to bloody opponents, like uh, looking after his uh, main man, Anthony Joshua. Uh, like Joshua will actually care that, you know, Anthony's stood up out of his seat, kicking off, trying to fight his corner. But then the drug stuff just gets even worse. I mean, do I believe Conor Ben was taking peds? Absolutely not. He's just a walking contradiction, isn't he? You know, every ban him for life, do this, do that, unless Anthony believes you. And then all rules go out the window. The, the guy, he's just, he's a walking belly of the week, every week. Here's one for belly of the week. Derek Chisora has confirmed to Mail Sport that negotiations have begun for him to fight Dillian White for a third time this summer. Oh. Who wins? Double knockout, please, man. <laughs> Fucking end this shit, man. <laughs> Jesus. According to Mail's board. D- d- That's not talk, it. isn't it? Dill boys out there who are going for a fight. What's going on? He's everywhere, Chisora, isn't he? Every video you watch, you know, he's just there in the background, you know. He was at the Jake Paul fight. He was at the show at the weekend. You know, he just insults everybody that he speaks to. He's just like, He's, he's like, like a bad smell, he, isn't he? he just doesn't no, go away. no, 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 mate. You know he's like thrush. An annoying cunt. <laughs> well, he might fight Dillian White for the third time. Who knows? So Dillian yes. White's been active. He's been active himself, Rob. Chipping away in the background, he says. Staying ready-ish in case some short notice-ish pop off. And uh, he look, Fucking in size the, of him. Look at that. that in that picture, he looks like he might have to fucking uh, fly Tom Selleck off in a helicopter soon, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Ryan Deal <laughs> photoshopped to one of the Dr. Joseph Vigeo's <laughs> tweets that says, oh, if you have high blood pressure, abstain from sodium. Drink eight tumblers of water daily to cool down your system that is overheating. Exercise daily. Be positive always and delete stress and worrying in any form. Sleep for eight hours. Your blood pressure will go down. So there's some advice from the doctor. Good, good advice from Dr. Joseph there. Eight tumblers. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Leon Margules, friend of the pod, friend of mine back in the day when I stole his chair and he went mad in the uh, Europa Hall. He's been going in on Eddie Hearn, so we can put that beef to one side. It says, over the past 10 weeks, I've spoken to numerous sources and Hearn's shifting reaction to various cases involving positive test results since 2018 is striking. The performance-enhancing drugs expert, Victor Conte, believes Hearn is a primary culprit in boxing's failure to control doping. Leon Margules, an American lawyer who has dealt with Hearn, says, Eddie is one of the most arrogant human beings I've ever met. I'm 69 and been in the business over 30 years, and I've never met a guy who more people at the highest levels dislike. These are just opinions, but focusing on Hearn's response to anti-doping cases, a pattern, Andy, of seeming hypocrisy emerges. Eddie, an (laughs) arrogant human being? (laughs) Fuck off. (laughs) <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I mean, talk about fucking little boy poor. Oh, Christ. Look, Eddie is, how can I put this politely? He's looking washed these days, by the way. There's something, there's something brewing with him. I don't know what it is, but he is, uh, excuse me, I, but uh, it doesn't matter how much he wants to hide behind the chicken cheeky chappy, you know, facade, that type of thing. There's, there's something, there's just something off. And this is a big part to do with um, I was uh, reading the, Gar- the Guardian article for Donald McRae yesterday and, that, and uh, it was very factual, very laid out and that. And I, I would imagine when Eddie reads it, he's fucking raging. Um, it's just this Ben situation just is not washing with the public. And that is the main thing here. If the, if the, if the wider public are not going to buy into it, then you're going to fucking... You're, you're basically, then you obviously got the, the board saying... They, they, you know, they when they sanctioned Eubank, for example. So, you know, does that mean the Eubank needs to go and get a foreign license to fight in Dubai? Um, you still got the, you still got the case with the situation with the the second test failure still to be answered for. Um, shows are disgraceful. Fight fighters are falling off cards. Felix Cash is pulling out of cards more times than fucking. Uh, who else? Who, who, you know, then Adrian Broner, I suppose. It's not looking good for him at this point, actually. Um, so yeah, it's um, the bold Edwards is an arrogant wanker. He won't, we've always <laughs> known this. We've always known this. I tell you what, he looked under some pressure during that fight last night. 
You could oh, see him like I've, I've, I've never seen him so fucking nervous at ringside last night. Like he was wanting that knockout so bad, he was screaming at Joshua to go for it in the last three rounds. Like even in it, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I I don't know who it was it was it Larry Young Steve that mentioned there about you know, yeah, Joe, I think maybe you even Rob actually that mentioned about Joshua being the male. You know, he's got so many mouths to feed, so to speak. He's out again in 12 weeks. Eddie mentioned there last night, he's got so many commercial deals he's got to now go and deal with, Matt, so you'll probably see him on television a bit more often. But at the same time, as who was the one person that said after the Joshua fight that he's going to get back in the ring ASAP? Who was that guy? Please remind me. Edward John Hearn. Why? Because you were fucking desperate. Your channel was tanking like a motherfucker. You're new on Twitter bragging that it's a momentum is unbelievable. You know, the zone is now on iPhone, your tablets, your smart TV, your games console, Sky, Verge. You've been on the fucking go for almost three years, man. You know, thinking you're still not in the pubs and the clubs yet. And you're, t- you're talking about momentum has been fucking building all this time. It's not happening, mate. Shit. The momentum is going all right, but it's going one fuck away because they, they put the fucking funny. eggs eggs in the one basket. Didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from all that, I think Eddie's doing all right, to be fair, boys. Let's move on to the next one, shall oh, we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Raw beef. <laughs> oh, as long as both men turn up on time. Prince Patel versus Isaac Lowe. Isaac Lowe. I don't know how this went, if anybody listened in or not. It didn't. It didn't go great now, to be honest with you. It sounded oh, a couple oh, of times. Wait, Colin, was it? What, what happened? Did they both turn up? They did. I just saw clips of it, but there was people online cracking up that Isaac was only like... Seemed like he was only a hair's breadth away from Ireland. A very dangerous insult a couple of times. Like <laughs> so, yeah, it was it was it was a mismatch, really, wasn't it? Like Prince Patel was uh, versus Isaac Lowe. But um actually felt a bit bad for him because um Prince Patel was like mark marking his spelling and all at the start. And he was like, Look at I can't fucking read or write, like let's just get that out of the way. I'm a gypsy, I don't I can't read or write, like so make fun of me for not being able to write, but I can't write and I felt bad then after the last fucking you know what I mean? Oh, oh we watch after that. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> You mate, you soft ass mother. Shut that soft ass shit up. Shut that shit up. Soft ass shit up. <laughs> yeah, I'm but glad you watched uh, that. So like well podcast. matched, uh, well matched, super bumped him with contest. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the boys there. They're talking of well matched. Here he is, this big John, <laughs> filming in London with Charlotte and Shireen, is it? Then a tour of delivery in offices in London, and then to meet the main man, Will Shoe. A real honour for me to meet Will, the founder of Deliveroo. How some shoes is. <laughs> <laughs> Such good people there. And the building is just so impressive. And looking forward to Will coming round our house to film the big John Chinese sit down. I else. mean, it would, it would just be poetic if Big John was like was like the creator of Deliveroo or fucking <laughs> Just Eat or something like that. Hey, Just Eat. Next hell. next week he's going to the fucking British Hair Clinic yeah. uh, headquarters to get his fucking <laughs> t-shirt lasered off him. What's, <laughs> what's, 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 <laughs> what's he probably knows better than me, right? But see people who've got like betting apps and they get banned for winning too much money or for like, you know, whatever it is and that. Can you imagine Big John getting banned off the fucking foot apps because he spends too much? Like, oh, but then, they're, 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 they're not banning him. The commission they'll get off Big John's order alone will probably... Uh, or probably make record profits or something like that. I mean, he's just the thing is though, right? No one would have cared if he if he basically just ticked along in the background and thought, <laughs> right, I'm gonna try and lose weight. He made this big deal about it starts Monday and you know, basically he'd soil himself on Monday morning, he'd weigh in <laughs> and then I've lost a pound or I've lost two pounds. And now, you know, and then he, he, he just renamed Treat Night. So every night is a treat night. You know, it's Treat <laughs> Night. It's, you know, oh, we're, we're celebrating this. We're doing that. He's shoveling Chinese down his throat. He'd then have a healthy Chinese, which was better for him. He goes, I'm just having a curry tonight. Nothing else. Yeah, John, it's still fried crap, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> but there's then, vegetables in it. As... <laughs> yeah, there is. This, but, but as well, we've got, we've got to remember... He is in credit. He's in, in credit. His this eyes, is the thing we're all fucking forgetting about. He's yeah, in we credit. We don't know anymore because he's not with him for three weeks, mate. So are you, sure, well, mate, yeah, are exactly. you sure he's in credit, not in debt to Deliveroo? <laughs> <laughs> well, What's well, credit? Yeah. Well, what does that mean? So he's what he's what's it called? I mean, like I said, he's gone for a curry tonight. He's gone for an Indian tonight. So oh, he's, he's, he's not waiting tomorrow. Sabbath, leave him alone, Ozzy. <laughs> 
He's, uh, his, last, his last weigh-in video, he says that, you know, he's uh, he's what? <laughs> There's a comment. Imagine the poor delivery cyclist who has to deliver John's grub. <laughs> he's broke his back like fucking Tyson. <laughs> yeah, spinal. He's gone yeah. to the door. <laughs> he, he said that you know he, he's had new he's had new visions. You know, like he, he's getting switched on now, and his vision was basically to knock the guy on the head and start shoveling food down his throat again. It oh, is mad. Ozzy, Ozzy, you're you're losing sight of what's happened here. Like it's the haters online. If it wasn't for the haters mm-hmm. online, he'd just stuck to his diet. Like a fucking, yeah. There's a lot of unkind people in the world who are making him eat these Chinese during the week. Yeah. <laughs> you know what and I mean? then ultimately, he's got this like little magazine show on his YouTube, which involves him sitting down with people, interviewing them, eating Chinese food. <laughs> so it's... Uh... He's got a connoisseur man of Chinese food. So he's ser- B- he's serious said, about this diet, is what you're saying, us. B- Big A said, <laughs> Absolutely. B- Big John celebrated my birthday with Chinese. I don't even know the cunt. I, I'm telling you, what you need to do. You need to do what I did actually. I went to re- ate real Chinese food. Right? I remember fucking traveling for about three days eating a pack of Pringles, right? Because there's nothing to eat in the country. I went to a place <laughs> called Shang Z, right? And I've got this menu delivered put in front of me, and obviously not a word in English. So I finally asked, asked, asked the waiter or, or, or to help with translation. She says, What's on the menu? And it was all snakes, right? Motherfucker <laughs> brought out, motherfucker brought out this wicker basket, right? On the f- dumped it on the fucking floor. I think I might have told a story before. Dumped it on the floor, took the lid off it, and all these snakes are fucking wriggling about. I'm like, You motherfucker. Right? <laughs> he pulls it out. He pulls a gold bladder out, hands it to me. I'm like, oh, I says, what do I do with this? He says, hey, you eat. Our, our Olympic team won many gold medals. I says, no, mate, that's steroids. Right? Cuts the <laughs> head off it. Cuts the head off it. Skins the fucking thing. And the pits on the thing's still wriggling the boot. Cuts it in front of me and fries it on the walk pan on the floor in front of me. Right? What's oh all this God. is happening in five minutes? And I'm saying, I ain't hungry anymore, man. Right? I'll tell I'm you what. My, oh my God. Put. You put that in a black bean sauce, Big John, and have us north. Oh, <laughs> you need to I get wish. Big John and Diamante, Andy, on a motorbike going around Asia together. Could you imagine Wait. that for TV? No, I motorbike, we just do a wheelie all around China. <laughs> Make sure that Big John's driving so the Diamante has cushion when they go flying off. <laughs> when he comes I, off. I, I, will, I will say, though, I, I do think Rob really does dislike Big John compared to me, though. I think oh, Rob is... I... I, I fucking do you know what do you know what annoys me about Big John is that the fact that I had to get invested in this story in the first place and now he won't give me the fucking update just tell me that you're fucking this is the week you're getting it all together pal I believed you last week like fucking asshole he, uh, he, he is fun I mean he didn't get to go to the old 2 on uh, on Saturday did he because he was stuck on the M6 for uh, four hours in a crash yeah. so he uh, that's the, that's he the other thing that fucking point. annoys me about him everything has to be about him fucking people dying yeah. in a crash on oh Oh, it's a big crash on the M6. Oh, boss. Fuck off, fam. Fucking let the people, let the ambulance through you, fucking fat Egypt. Get out of the way. Fuck's sake. It's, 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 fuck, it's fucking Friday night. <laughs> Bring around the tiles with Big John for a few fucking pints. Oh, I fuck, fucking hate it. decided to go I, for a Chinese. And I Big John loves a fucking Who's... Chinese. Who's doing that guy, Richie? I love them guy, Richie Phillips, and they're fucking ruining him for me having a big eat. Oh, here comes Big John. He can move when he has to, can't you, John? Fuck off. I'll tell you what. Of course, I can. Of course I can. Big time. Get that away, driver. What the fuck can he fucking get away from? What the fuck can he get away from? There is some brutal comments in the chat. So one of them is, Big John is donating his excess skin to the parachute regiment. <laughs> A pound a week for Big John is like throwing a deck chair off the Titanic. Apparently, apparently, reverse fire went on the hard shoulder and parked up next to Burger King. <laughs> Jim, Jim McDonald boxing. Imagine when they open his gut and five pounds worth of noodles fall out of Big John. Jesus, we're all from Armenia tonight. Big John. Jim McDonald says as well. The owner of Deliveroo has shares in John Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> ah, poor Big John. Yeah. Look at him. Man. Oh, come off it, man. I tell you what, right as well. I think the missus is getting sick of him. I think it's time to have a talk, man. Do you ever you remember that motherfucker that used to, to to do the videos and he was uh 
He used to fucking. He was all over Facebook, man. He used to pop up like pretend to be Batman. He had the dad. He's the dad, and he used to go yeah, Jen. Dad, dad. It's yeah, Pat. Yeah. yeah, well, she left him. She got fed up with shit. She left him. So yeah, I sucks, saw Big man. John doing a video. With, yeah, well, she was sick of a fucking fully grown man going around in a ba- Batman mask, and I have a feeling Mrs. Fisher is not too far off either. She was fucking. <laughs> He was making a video with her in it last week and she was looking like, oh, well, this can't turn the camera off. Like, just let me do the washing, man. But yeah, fucking stick here with your boss. Think about how many outdoor chairs broken as well. How, how do you think Big, Big LaBosch is doing sexually, though? He's got the struggle, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah, hadn't, th- hadn't thought about it till now, Andy, but now. I think it's time to move on. <laughs> are, Andy, are you just contemplating the, like, the actual physics of the exercise? Or... <laughs> Well, mate, I'm just, well, I'm just wondering what happens after two strides. Is he fucking I'm just wondering, bad? though, is it is it because he's popular in the clubs now, isn't he? Like, and that's dangerous territory, like when you're a sick public figure. Oh, you know what I mean? Sex magnets, absolutely. That's good and if he gets well, caught, anyway, you can just blame the trolls online for ruining uh, his marriage. Yeah, he, 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 was up in, he was up in Wigan on Friday night. Uh, that was the reason for his trip up north. Yeah, he was at oh, a club in there, Wigan. Um, yeah, he was. Yep, Smith always there. You know, he was catching burgers off Big John in the crowd and eating cheeseburgers with him. So yeah, who wants Smith a fucking all... burger? Oh, he's in Wigan, eh? Smith always but... loved a bit of Big John. <laughs> but yeah, he... just, just to sign off. Uh, and when and when Big John was on the motorway, apparently to uh, Jim McDonald, uh, he apparently he reversed five miles down the hard shoulder and parked up so he could get a Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> The fucker. <laughs> oh, it's. I, I've got to admit, though, right? We're so I give sad. him stick, but it does amuse me, Big John. It's just like, do you know what? Oh, like, so we rely on you, you to give us all the updates, mate. That's why we fucking rely on you. Well, yeah. Do you know what? I, it used to be a highlight of my Monday morning, Big John's way in. It's not happening anymore. But if this guy wants to get, you know, like eat food and do what he wants, that's fine. I mean, his Instagram job thing is is a food consultant. That is his job title. But let's have it right. It, you know. They're not gonna they're not gonna book him at these clubs if he's not not so big John anymore, is he? If he sheds like fifteen stone or something like that. Oh, so essentially yeah. people are paying him to be there because he's fat. Paying him to be so, fat. So uh, yeah, go, go for it. Absolutely go for it. But yeah, keep keep on the journey, you know, reset, recover. He needs move, what he needs is he needs to keep again. being fat, right, for the whole t- until about October. No, say September, give himself a bit of time, and then he needs to come out of Christmas with the fucking weight loss DVD, like Jim McDonald's wife out of Coronation Street, doesn't he? Like, he needs a fucking, yeah, he needs one of them, yeah. like, Leah the holds whole time. Like, oh, like, 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 well, imagine that big John doing like uh, yoga and things like that, and doing those step ups on those, uh, those little things, you know. I mean, oh, fucking hell, the leg, the leg, the with a wee sweat band on, though. I just like that. Way. I'll tell you that much. Mr. Motivator. <laughs> Mr. Motivator. <laughs> well, D- Dress the fucking sunflowers and all that type of shit, man. Fools just flying everywhere, man. I understand. <laughs> Before we move on from Big John, Matty, you've seen this one during the week. Liam Wynn, friend of the pod, one of the nutters, has been updating us every week with his uh, activities outdoors. He's been building a patio and a conservatory and goodness knows what else. And he put up a photo during the week of, of the latest work. And Ryan Deal got hold of it <laughs> and turned it into this. <laughs> Oh, God damn, yeah, that's pure gold. I love it. His talent's wasted on us, isn't it? Get a life, get a life, Ryan Deal. Okay. <laughs> He's a vile troll, Ryan Deal, isn't he? He's a vile troll. Uh, listen, really anybody jam, listening, you need to watch YouTube for this part. Um, we're time-stamped at roughly yeah. around about the two-hour, 33-minute mark. Yeah. 234, 234. Oh, St- yeah, Steve, send me that picture of when you're down. That is unreal. <laughs> that, that's, what's that's, going all, that's going all over that. I'm Aussie, sending Aussie, that to various people. Aussie's getting hard at the thought of this one. Like. <laughs> you, you would have access hey, to it in the WhatsApp group. All of this mate, stuff, if, you'd be firsthand with it. You would, you'd be on the cutting edge of John Fisher humour. Oh, it's insane. I mean, if Big John did see that, he would... Uh, he would be getting aroused by it. A bath full of curry sauce. <laughs> but, mate. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff indeed. From one John to the other, if you haven't had enough of John Fisher, what about John Fury getting stuck in here on Metro Sport? He said, with Sugar Hill the other day, what the hell was that about? I'm only here for a coli when I have seen him training Tyson. All of a sudden, denied him like Judas denied Jesus Christ. 
for me. That is a sacking offence. <laughs> Sack Judas. Judas out, I say. Do you know what? So he's uh, looking for the cut himself, the big fucker. And so he's, yeah. trying to, he's trying to get into to, to train because he's thinking Fury's going to fight in the UK or in Saudi and he's not going to have trouble going there. Like, mm. So he's want to be the head trainer, the big off. I cannot stand John Fury. I think he's an absolute arsehole. And uh, he, he, he jibbed a fight with Porky Russ. Porky called him out on a billboard and John Fury, the fighting man, was nowhere to be seen. The guy is an absolute clown. I cannot stand him. You know, what sort of a comment is this? You know, he is one of the worst things um, about boxing. You know, every time he opens his mouth, he embarrasses himself. The guy's a joke. The best thing that Tommy and Tyson Fury could do is when it comes to boxing, fuck him off. The guy's a clown. He's just an arsehole, you know. Again... Oh, I, I just dislike him. Do not like him whatsoever. Bully. He's a bully as well. Do you remember the Frampton thing? You know, he tried to put it on him. Bully Frampton. And he hated the fact that Frampton stood up to him and stood his ground. He hated that. The guy's a bully. Just essentially, yeah, just eliminate him. Yeah, just send him away. Send him <laughs> far away and don't get him back. <laughs> Fuck it. Eliminate him. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Fucking all just like, boy. I don't know if fucking <laughs> t- <laughs> chat GPT can go that far just now. But give us a couple of weeks. So we'll be able to fucking eliminate someone with a super chat in a few weeks. Don't worry about it. Brutal and mental, was he? Fucking hell. Well, I just I don't I don't like the guy whatsoever. Every time he speaks, you know, he's a bully. And that's exactly what he is. He is a bully. He uh, he can't what's it called? He um he, he just, he, like I said, he, he tries to be a thug, you know, he puts it on everybody, this and that, but when people stand up to him, he doesn't like it. Says it all, you know, like people, not many of his family speak to him, you know, and stuff like that, you know, arsehole, absolute arsehole. Yep, enjoy your eyes, Oz, says a big A. Uh, final one here, Andy. Um, Kevin Johnson, I think it was, wasn't it, over in Russia, he says, at the end of his fight, to the Honourable President Vladimir Putin, I would like Russia to be my home. <laughs> I, I, he's doing anything for that pay packet. But I also <laughs> checked. I also checked his box rec. He's apparently fighting in Germany next week as well. So he's probably just trying to kind of like you know play it safe so he can try and get out of the country. Maybe he had to hand his passport over. You never know because the American government just re- released a statement literally three days ago you, telling yeah. all Americans to leave the fucking country, and he's fucking in there fighting against a white supremacist who doesn't like fucking. Know, in a three rounder, a by the way, exhibition. A, a three rounder, he's willing to move to fucking Moscow. Fuck that the exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> the supremacist, like he, he got arrested in Norway for like arms <laughs> possession, trying to get my state secrets. And oh, the guy's a fucking nut job. He's done everything. Didn't, like, didn't, didn't Roy Jones do the same now? Yeah, he got, Steven yeah, Seagal. He got he, he Roy Jones fighting last night as well. He he? No, I mean, Roy, didn't Roy Jones get a, uh, a Russian, Russian passport, citizenship? Though, yeah, 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 he, he got Russian, Russian citizenship, yeah. 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 Aye. Well, I don't think anybody these days like Loves it. What's, Moscow, Kevin Johnson? Right. What's Kevin Johnson yeah. got to offer them though? Yeah. Well, nothing. Sparring eight rounders. Roy, is, well, like, uh, Roy uh, getting beat by fucking yeah. Anthony Pettis. Like yeah. it's fucking tragic that the greatest fucking fighter of all time is ending up like this. I'm sorry, like it's fucking breaking my heart to see this. Like I hated that last night. Imagine Roy Jones losing to fucking Anthony Pettis. Like Roy Jones, Jesus, fifty-four years of age, and he wants a rematch. <laughs> is he? Uh, is he broke? Do you just have no like? What? What is he doing? Does, I, does he have I, I can't think he's broke. Away, can I? I can't think he's broke. Even the Tyson um, pay per view did record numbers. Like, I can't think he's broke. Like, I think it's just he can't let it go. Like, you know, a lot of fighters just can't fucking let go of the limelight. Like, mm. I let go of oh, being involved yeah. in the sport and it. You know he's talk, he's talking last night about improvements made and everything like he's fucking like he's, he's, he's fifty four. Needs to get back to the cockfighting man. man in Florida. Florida. What's he doing? What improvements Just... is he talking about? He's Roy fucking Jones, fifty four <laughs> Just... year old. Come back stronger, Andy. Get back in the gym, man. Look, it's just <laughs> it's so fucking it's so heartbreaking to see as a Roy Jones fan to see this happening like to him that it's that nobody it's seemingly nobody in his family like from talking to Brendan that like nobody in his family nobody close to him could tell him that he had to retire even though he couldn't run his knees were that bad like he couldn't actually do road work like he was saying is he out jogging they're like ah out jogging no he can't run like and that's about 12 years ago 
So it's it's mm. tragic, like, bro. Hopefully he doesn't die in the ring. Mm. Yeah, hopefully not. Well, it'd be yeah. good for pay per view numbers, goal. though. Right. Um, uh, MTK... Ignore rematch anyway. <laughs> well, I, I'm not out. MTK Enforcer Vic Graville did send me a video. I'm going to keep that for a quieter week because we got to 2211 already. Um, have we got I any tried, nominations? Steve, I tried. No, no, it's not your fault, Matthew. Don't worry. Have you got any nominations for this week's Bully of the Week? Yeah, I, I think you just got to go for the stoppage and the fucking Wardley coffee fight. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, that was pretty bad, that. Uh, any nominations from you, Andrew? Oh, good God, yes. Ooh. Absolutely. Carol, Carol Froch living his best life there. You know, he reminds me of one of these guys that sits in the pub and there's a fucking battle kicking off running about me. He's just sitting there quietly drinking his pint. Not give him a fuck what's going on. And Carol Froch is there collecting receipts. Darren Barker shit in his pants. <laughs> Froch should have said, don't do it, son. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it, kid. Don't do it. Bunch, Bunch take the headphones off aggressively, throwing them down. Security is coming in. Barry Jones shits his pants. He's standing back. He's a wee midget. He doesn't want to get fucking involved. Um, so I, and Anthony Bellio as well, running half the length of the arena. Did they want any trouble? Just want to be left alone, Anthony. <laughs> But he ran the length of the Just want to be left alone went. to run after people to start an in ring fight <laughs> exactly. when commentating. Exactly. Uh, Edward John Hearn for multiple offences. I, I dare say there's stuff he's done this week that I can't even repeat because I don't even know anything. But I can guarantee there's something's probably happened. But anyway, for saying that the momentum is unbelievable, that the zone is now on iPhone, tablet, smart TV, games console, Sky TV, Virgin, fucking... Fucking hell, Andy, are you advertising? you got an affiliate link or something? Oh, what, mate? I'm waiting on the cash. I'm coining it in, baby. Pubs, <laughs> bars, clubs, fucking halftime, tea time, anytime. You can get the zone wherever you want to go on the go. Right? And fire so stick. <laughs> and fire stick. The final twig, without doubt. Uh, as I say, uh, oh, why? Anthony Joshua, did, did anybody see the interview that he gave me? Uh, this is Radio Rahim uh, going on about racism from Lomachenko and Team Music. It was fucking tragic, man. Absolute state. You've got two guys who barely speak fucking English. Apparently, you know, how they treated Josh was, was apparently racist or something along those lines. Fucking horrific. So one for Joshua. Oh, one for Eddie Hearn for saying that he expects Joshua Franklin to add between 300 and 400,000 new subscribers. Other thing, is this is this April Fool's banter at early doors, man? Is he really fucking at it? He is really at it, eh? Because I'll tell you what, it looks like if there's 300 to 400,000 new subscribers, I think they'll all be fucking asked for a refund come this morning because they've been bored to tears. And one for Howard Foster for what he does best. You know, you've got fat Terry there to cook the cards, but you've got Uncle Howard there on hand, as always, to make sure the job gets done correctly. Lovely stuff. Thank you, Andy. Shout out to David Palmer, by the way, throwing 499 in. He says, <clears throat> I've listened into quite a few Asylum pods, and this one is definitely not nice. Absolutely right on that one, rapping Rob Kelly. Any What's niceness there, to add to the proceedings here? Oh, it's just got to be Connor Ben, like, for smacking the microphone out of the gad's hand. Like, this guy... I mean, can you blame like him, Rob? Can you blame him? They've hammered him, absolutely hammered him. Can you blame him? I know, yeah, they've hammered him. It's fucking... It's it's unfair that people have wanted um, to the question about him failing to a fucking drug test. Like, and then he, the guy is oblivious. Like, he knocks the microphone out of the guy's hand. He's like, obviously, he doesn't want to talk to TalkSport. I'm not taking that personally. It's TalkSport. <laughs> he hit the... T- they hit the talk sport mic, not me. So that's what he said. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And then Connor Ben then puts up a fucking Instagram post with a microphone emoji saying no mic. What a prick, man. I mean, does own like Eddie. I know you're in trouble, man, but like look what you're after getting yourself into. Look who you're back. Like Anthony Joshua, the fucking the big cowardly lion, a fucking six foot six heavyweight who's afraid to fight at a drug chief with a sense of fucking entitlement. Holy shit. The zone, the future looks bright. Future's bright for the zone, Ozzy. Is it bright for you with the Belly of the Week nomination? Yeah, the usual ones have been uh, nominated, but the one for Big Daddy Bunce as well, who accused somebody of... Uh, <laughs> he, he, he put a link up to his uh, part about, um, you know, recapping, you know, like the night's events, and somebody replied saying, oh, he found it odd that you didn't speak to Joshua about all the trouble. And Bunce replied, basically accused him of being racist. Uh, and brought Amir Khan into it, saying that he dislikes Amir Khan. He no doubt he dislikes Amir Khan as well because he's Muslim. 
Uh, and it was just a completely random response from Bunce. You know, the guy never mentioned anything about that. He just basically went, why didn't you ask Joshua about this? And he, uh, yeah, and he just went on a, a, a tirade uh, accusing him of being racist. So, yeah, uh, definitely one for Bunce, who A, tried to be a doorman and uh, got nowhere near the situation. And then B, uh, yeah, accusing uh, fight fans of being racist because they dared to criticise Anthony Joshua. Uh, to criticise AJ, who would even do such a thing? Let's go through them very quickly before we make our picks. Country Mix Boxing in the Country Box. Matty's all over that one. Tony Bell, you got a few nominations this week. He's been talking bullshit as usual, running around the ring, trying to get involved in a fight. Two men who shouldn't be fighting. These two with their mushed brains. Uh, Dillian White and Derek Chisora. Ryan Deal doing the work there. Uh, whoever wrote this article going in on Eddie through the medium of Leon Margules, and Victor Conte. We had Prince Patel against Isaac Lowe. We had Big John Fisher laying on the curry sauce there, <laughs> courtesy of Ryan Deal. We had Big John Fury, not a fan. We've got Kevin Johnson, the kingpin, going over to Russia looking a bit of citizenship. He'll say anything to get out alive. Do you want to get sold into sexual slavery, uh, Kev? Fuck and you. We had, we had the guard as well <laughs> with the DJ at the beginning, and we had Carl Froch and Bunsey, etc. Quite a nice little week. Andy, who are you going for? Episode 517. Oh, mate, I really want to go for Edward, but it's got to be the man himself, the man who we named it after, the legend, the myth, Anthony Bellew. Just <clears> for <throat> yep. being Anthony, really, you know? Yep, he's putting a strong week. Body of evidence, as I say, Matty. Who are you going for? You know, considering uh, he is the namesake and uh, also the fact it is WrestleMania weekend, Gonna have to go with a uh, good old Anthony doing his best Sergeant Slaughter running down to the ring, and getting involved in shit. <laughs> I thought it was more Ultimate Warrior to be fair the way he went random there, man. He Let's didn't go, shake. Man. The, he didn't shake the ropes, did he? Did I miss that? He didn't get that far to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the Ultimate Warrior was pretty gassing out after doing that bit anyway, so Anthony probably learned for that bit, you know. <laughs> He'd do well in boxing, wouldn't he? Ultimate Warrior with all the PEDs he was taking. Oh. Yeah. He's dead <laughs> now, sadly. Oh, well, I'm sure he's enjoying his best life. I'm surprised if they're all these steroids now. I wouldn't imagine he'd he'd have a heart attack. He he died the day after he got inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame. Literally. Oh, the banter. Oh, the banter. (laughs) Outdoing himself there, Rob. Who are you going for? Yeah, it's got to be Benio, hasn't it? Like, fucking Rob. But, like, he wants wants second in all series. Since another week, like, but Jesus Christ, you can't be doing that. Like, like, what could I have caused last night? Seriously, like, I know that people got in between him and you know, David Hay and the trouble and all were all jumping out in front of him trying to stop him. But, <laughs> but, like, well, that, that could have had serious consequences last night, last night, or in the ring last night. Like, and I just don't understand what the fuck he's doing. Like, apart from making it all about himself, he's a he's a moron. Like, so yeah, Bellu of the week for Bellu. A disgrace on the zone as well, Ozzy. Imagine all the hundreds of people he would have offended running about on the app like that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> running, across, run, running about on all of those formats. <laughs> what you got, Oz? Uh, Without a doubt, it's got to be uh, Anthony, Tony, Bellew. Uh, and yeah, you know, honorary mention to uh, the big man himself, John Fisher who on another week might well have scooped a uh, scooped the award, but nah, when uh, when Anthony <laughs> is, what, done three or four different things, said or done things, and uh, they're all at the top, there's only one winner. Only one winner. He's going to have to scoop the Chinese John Fisher this week, because Anthony Bellew, the man who the award was created for, is the Bellew of the Week winner for episode 517. 